Let me show you the next part of our office hours. Appointment analysis by provider report. Here's another report. It's an excellent report. But oftentimes when you try to use this report, this is what ends up happening. If you go to reports, appointment analysis by provider. I'm going to show you what ends up happening. We're going to preview it just for today. There are no appointments in the specified ranges. Let me tell you a little bit about what this report does. This report uh, shows you the productivity, how your office is doing, your workflow, uh, the time it takes, the time that it takes for somebody to check in, to being seen by the provider to then being checked out. Why is that a good thing to know? Well, it's going to affect how you set up your templates, too. Uh, you're going to see how the doctor is doing or how the patients are doing and the time that they're being seen. Uh, if you need to maybe expand a little bit more time in your schedule for new patients or maybe your emergency patients, that's the benefit of using this report. And there's a reason why it's not working for me. Let me show you. It goes back to the statuses. Remember when I said that statuses are kind of a big deal? Well, that's why it affects this report. When somebody shows up at your office, like I was mentioning, you can double click on the appointment, select a status. Here's a quicker way of doing that. Right click on the appointment and then select checked in. As soon as they show up, they sign their name, fill up patient information, paperwork, mark them as checked in. And then the next thing, when they go to be seen by the doctor, right click again and this time select being seen. And then when they leave, select checked out. Okay, you got all that? Being seen or checked in, being seen, checked out. Checked in, being seen, checked out. Those three statuses have to be used in order for that report to show you any kind of detail. So now let me show you how that looks like. Reports, appointment analysis by provider. There we go. So as you can see there, you've got a couple uh, columns, gives you some good information, number of appointments for the day, uh, the average total time, average wait time, average scene time, the default length of your appointments. This report will, uh, will change how you do your workflow. It, it's going to help you really maximize uh, your productivity and uh, just the amount of patients that you're probably able to take in. Not that you have to extend appointments or blocks of time. You may be able to lessen some so that you can fit in more patients into your schedule. So that's the appointment analysis by provider report. Hey, thanks for watching. Hope you liked the video and found it helpful. If you did, let us know by giving us a thumbs up by clicking on the like button below. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, feel free to write those in the comment section below. And if you want to get more helpful videos like this one, be sure to subscribe to our channel. Thanks.